are back down at the mobile home and they are opening windows right now but we're going to get started outside with the awning because that's important to get done and um i am most likely going to start trying to put down i've never done this before so i don't know if i'm gonna be be able to do it but put down the little strip that goes on the ground for the underpinning so or skirting for the mobile home i'm gonna be trying to do that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it or not. And I'll be doing that by myself because they're gonna be doing the other stuff. But Jeff's gonna teach me how to do it and we're gonna see if I can. And after that, the owning is done, we're gonna come back in and start working on the kitchen again. But um, probably getting the rest of the laminate up, cutting this other laminate off and I don't know whatever from there but um we already have the countertop stuff that we could do that side most of it anyway we've got the stuff for the bar and all of that so we could maybe start on that but i don't know if we are or not and um we could also put up the vent hood and do this electrical so jeff's going to be the one that decides what we're doing though with that so, I'm going to set up the camera, let y'all watch them do the owning while I go do, try to do the other stuff.
It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then 
Please. 
Okay, so the owning is done other than Jeff's got to do a little bit of caulking. Um, and it's sturdy. He didn't use, or they didn't use, the whole sheets. Because if they were going to use the whole sheets, they would have had to put um, legs on it. And we didn't want legs on it. So, this will be... This, this will be great, I think. I think this is going to be perfect for what we need because we just don't want the water to be coming into the door anymore. And um, hey, no. that way yeah. I can come out in the mornings no, no. and sit on the steps and have coffee and look at the cows at the pond over there. Well, they were there earlier. Yeah. But, yeah. It'll be shaded because the sun comes... I mean, it sets over there on that side. And, of course, it rises on this side. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's nice. Okay, so now the plan is to come into the kitchen and start doing some of the electrical, maybe cutting off this, uh, these little pieces where this was too big. Y'all remember um, the day we put it up, we left it big so we could cut it flush because the cabinets were not flush. And possibly go ahead and do this wall and um, just see what we can get done. But we know we need to do the electrical in here, cutting those off, and I don't, what else can we do? Maybe the vent hood, maybe that part too. But uh, Noah's about to get the generator going again so we can have some airflow. <laughs> that way we can have a fan on. Um, but I'll come back. I'll just set up the camera and come back whenever we start doing something and tell you exactly what we're doing. But the plan is mostly electrical, right or wrong. Uh, that maybe some trimming, some trimming and stuff. And just seeing what we can get done. Okay, so he's going to start with cutting off the little edges like this part um and this is still a little bit tacky where that that glue was put on it i don't know how long it stays tacky but i just thought i'd tell y'all that i don't know why i thought i'd tell y'all that but i just did so let me see the what you're going to cut it off with he's going to use his router our router this router anyway with this bit i don't know what it's called because he didn't tell me. Anyway, it's just a little handheld router. Works really good. It's what Noah cut the little things out with on the other side. So I'm gonna let y'all listen to some music because this is loud. Okay, so he's putting some painter's tape over the cabinet where we painted it so that hopefully it won't scratch it. And we hope that the paint is cured enough that we don't have to worry about that messing up either if it does mess up the paint we have more paint so it should be okay but now i'm gonna let y'all watch him cut it off a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right letting you go cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you but I do not believe it was right letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you tell me do you think of me too cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me no it was a mistake letting you go cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart you're still here the we're apart I'm seeing your face in my dreams I can't escape you like a movie on repeat the scenes just go on 
Okay, so on these, about this much, um, <laughs> the router wouldn't go up because of this part of the cabinet. So he's going to try to cut it off with the box cutter and get it off that way because it's just a little bit of the, it's the same thing he cut it with before, it's a box cutter. But he's going to do that and then he's going to finish cutting over on that corner with the router. I think he can do most of it with the router, but I'm not sure. Ta-da! Now you can see if the tape comes off. He was wondering if the tape was going to mess up the um, paint, but we don't have, we're not going to have it on there long enough that it shouldn't mess it up anyway. There shouldn't be any problems. Nope, no problems. Let me try to show y'all from this side what he's actually doing. Oh, I gotta get the camera up. Oh, it's not gonna be able to be seen. But you can see the little spot, and I'll I'll show you from this side maybe. I forgot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it or not, but we're gonna try. And if I can't, then it's okay. They understand. You want me to hold the board? You want? Uh, I think break it. All right. Um, what he's doing is going to get another tool to uh, try to use it instead. And also, stuff did get in here, but that's okay. We can just vacuum that out or whatever. But he's getting some another tool to try it instead of doing what he was doing. What is, is that? Ten snips? All right. Show him the tool. Okay. And he is wearing safety glasses. You cut the tape too. You got little pieces of tape there. That worked. All right. It looked like that was easier than the other way. Oh, he's got two pair. His left hand and right hand. And there's also a straight, but we don't have the straight ones because we haven't bought any. And also the fans on because it's hot in here. All right, so now he's gonna go to that corner over there and um, do what? Yeah, he's, you're not gonna do this side first? Yeah, you just said. What, I mean, wouldn't it be easier to do this side first? I don't know. Is that not stuck well? Or is it because the plywood handling stuff? Okay, there's nothing, it's stuck. It's just what is hold is stuck to. Also, Noah, go ahead, go ahead. I'll be right back. I'm hearing your voice in my dreams. I want to escape you. I really think I made a big mistake. I want you to know. I can't stand the thought of Okay, so he has to do the same thing there with the 10 snips, which you can't see it because he has to be in the way. But also you're going to be here in a vacuum because Noah's about to start vacuuming up the um, everything that he can and um, try to get some of the stuff cleaned up in the floors. I did do the front side of the mobile home and one end and part of the back with the um skirting stuff that goes on the ground but i stopped because the sun is back there so um i'll either do it after the sun goes down or i'll wait till another day to finish it up but i'll show you i'll try to remember to show y'all that what i did do before we leave so no one wants to vacuum so i'm gonna just let y'all listen to music or something Tell me 
it's over now Don't tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over Okay, so our box that we have through the outside part of the vent is bigger than the um, the part that comes out of this. This hood is made to where you can knock out this part or you can do it from the top side. And that's why we like it because you can do it either way, which ours is the back side, so it's fine. But that box is bigger than this. So what Jeff did is he modified that so that the um, hood will fit well in there. And we have 
this rubber seal that we're going to put around that so that there'll be a seal around it which there would be no seal unless you did something like this anyway um so it's going to work and it's going to be fine there's not going to be any problems and there won't be any problems with bugs and dust and things like that coming in either because we're going to have the rubber seal so now i, I just wanted to tell y'all that but now we're just going to like go back to the music and stuff because noah's probably going to start vacuuming again So in the top part, because there is a gap, he's putting insulation in there. There's not a hole there. Like there's no way outside, I guess, right? Anyway, there's a it, there's a gap there between the metal and the wall. So we're putting insulation in there because you can't put this stuff in there. No drafts, that will be good. But it is sealed on the outside, but it'd just be better to put the insulation in this to make sure everything is properly sealed and insulated and no bugs and no, like, air, <laughs> stuff like that. And now I'm, it'll be fine.
outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be Okay, so Jeff got, oh my goodness, got scared me. That's what he got. He got all, well, that was already done. The plugs in, I forgot what I was even saying because he threw that. And we got the oven hood in and all this is wired up and the outlets over here. But that one, whenever he was putting the cover on, the cover broke. So we got to get a new cover. Um, I think that's the first time it's happened. But all the outlets... And the switches are done in the whole entire house. So that's good. So now the only electrical that are le that's left is the stove plug and the dryer plug um, that's inside the house. And then we'll have to do the air conditioner at the pole, he said. And actually finishing wiring up the... Okay, so my bat... Let me just turn the camera around. My battery died before I got finished saying that. Thankfully, we got the generator and we were able to charge the one I'm using now because this is the second time that the batteries died today. So, um, all the electrical is done except the dryer plug, the stove plug, the air conditioner, and actually wiring up the box and getting the pole here. But all the electrical in the house, I think, is done. I mean, we're going to, of course, look again, make sure. No, it's not. <laughs> the ceiling fan for the living room and the bedroom. Well, we still don't even have the ceiling fan for in here in the living room. But anyway, all of that is done. All of those little pieces are cut off. Um, we, what are we piecing to do? Okay, we're going to go outside and finish up what I started earlier today with the... 
underpinning the bottom part. I'll show y'all. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. It's the little bottom rail for the underpinning because you hook it to that thing and that thing. And this is what I was doing. I got the whole entire front done and this end over here, part of the back. And we're gonna go ahead and finish the back and the other end. The reason why I didn't go down there is because the generator's going and it's loud. But, oh, I do have a little bit left here, but it's a corner and I have to find it. <laughs> so yeah, all of this is done. And if it's not right, Jeff's gonna have to fix it. Oh, we do have to fix that gap because whatever reason there's a gap. But anyway, gaps won't really matter though. Um, if it's wrong, Jeff will have to fix it. But he's the one, he, I mean, he taught me how to do it and he's, he said it was fine and he's the one okayed my job. So there we go. <laughs> so we got another mess to clean up, but we got the awning and that's good. Uh, we still got to take that stuff off of that vent thing that Jeff had uh, put it over that whenever he sprayed some rubber stuff around it to seal it. And um, he didn't take it off yet. He's got to use the uh, box cutter and cut around it to make sure that it doesn't rip the rubber stuff off. Like, you know, it's like paint. But anyway, he was protecting the black thing <laughs> to keep it from getting messed up. Okay, so we're not doing the skirting today. I just dropped my camera almost. But he's gonna see if this is gonna work because this is in a different place. Some of the skirting may not fit like it did before. It may be too short and maybe too long, things like that. We're probably gonna have to cut quite a bit because I think it is um, a little bit shorter areas or closer to the ground than it was in some spots. But that's what the skirting looks like. We want to definitely pressure washer or something or some kind of scrubbing but um we did get all of the bottom part down it didn't take long it took a whole lot less time with two of us than it did with one of course i'd never done it before um but yeah we got that skirting bottom part done we're not putting skirting on today though because we are it's it's um it's, it's after seven o'clock hold on let me turn the camera around okay um that's that wire we bought the other day for $50. It was a little bit less than $50. $50 plus tax. But um, it's usually like at least $100 a roll. But we got it from books. Um, we're not doing the skirting because it's late. It's 719 and we want to go home. Um, Jeff has to go back to work tomorrow. So we don't have time to really do much else. And... Don't want to start another thing right now that would take hours because well, we don't have anything else that will be a short amount of time and everything else that we could start would take a long time. We, we just don't want to start something else. It doesn't matter. We just don't want to start anything else. So I will see y'all again tomorrow. I'll be doing something around the house. I don't know what yet, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so to be notified whenever I upload. If you know someone who would enjoy my channel, our channel, share it with them if you don't mind. It does help me out whenever you share, like, subscribe, all those things. Um, I was trying to figure out what he was doing. He's moving things. He's organizing. If... Uh, you don't mind leave me a comment down below let me know how you're doing because i really want to know if you have a prayer request you can leave that down below as well because i will add you to my prayer list and i'll pray for you if you don't want to add a prayer request to public comments you can always email me my email is mamacatshomestead at gmail.com also if you like planner videos you can check out my other channel it's mama cat's home plans it is linked down below as well and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet